Uh, this is not Gabe anymore, as many of you can tell out there. <laughs> this is Jeff. Jeff will be walking us through the second half of the Full Stack New York City projects. All right, so Jeff, why don't you uh, kick us off with the next project? Thanks, David. Yeah, it's an honor to be here, and uh, it's been an honor to work with these fine people for the last six weeks alongside Gabe. I'm really excited to introduce the next set of projects here. So um, a lot of people these days, when they're looking to learn something new, look to YouTube first. And uh, it's easy to see why, really. There are videos on every topic imaginable, uh, the ability to pause, rewind, alter the playback speed. It, it really puts a lot of power in the hands of the learner, right? Uh, and this next group saw an opportunity to turn YouTube into a really a full-fledged learning platform by enhancing it with a browser extension. Uh, and ultimately, they've given content creators on YouTube the ability to create a much more immersive and interactive experience for people who are specifically learning to code. So without further ado, I will let the creators behind Code Mode tell you all about it. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Code Mode. We are Mariel Werner, Kyle Uline, Myself, Vikas Srivastava, and Andrew Ziegler, who, due to a speech impediment that makes him a little hard to understand uh, the first time you hear him, uh, allowed me to speak on his behalf today. We created Code Mode because we love YouTube coding tutorials. There's such great content out there, active communities, but there is one downside, in that when you're watching videos, it's hard to code alongside it. You have to open up a separate browser uh, or a different program and find the source code somewhere else online. So we created Code Mode for one express purpose, to make practice easier. Within the YouTube page itself, you can toggle open the Code Mode drawer and code right there in the code editor. The questions are directly associated with the video that you're watching, and content creators can actually curate the questions and the videos that they upload to our database, allowing for an interactive learning experience for all of their viewers. To walk through the process, let's pass it off to Marielle. Thanks, Vikas. So Code Mode is a platform that's designed for both users and content creators. Users just have to install our extension, navigate to a YouTube coding tutorial, open up the Code Mode drawer, and start coding. Uh, they have access to questions that the content creator has posted that uh, reinforce or address certain concepts in the video. They have an editor REPL where they can write and test their code, and an adjacent code REPL where they can run it and see the output. Content creators, if they have registered their material with Code Mode, can simply log in and access enhanced functionality in the Code Mode drawer. They can add, edit, delete any questions, and just generally kind of customize the user experience relating to their particular video. And we felt this was valuable because it involves the content creator in the pedagogical ecosystem um, in, a, in a more important way than just giving them that agency at the distributional phase. And registering a new video with Code Mode is as simple as clicking a button. Here's Kyle to talk about some technologies we used and challenges we faced. Thank you, Mariel. We created a Chrome extension using React Redux. We deployed our backend on Heroku, and our backend consists of an Express server and a Postgres database. When attempting to make a Chrome extension, there are a few challenges that are inherent with the process. But when trying to inject one onto the UI, that's a different story. We had to wrestle with YouTube for control of the DOM. Our CSS and YouTube CSS clashed in a way that ended up creating something kind of like Frankenstein's monster. So we had to wrap our pop-up and content script in a frame to resolve this. Another unexpected hurdle that we had to face was the presence of two Redux stores. Our pop-up housed the state for the user, while the content script housed the state for the rest of the application. When a user would log in, the state would change in the pop-up, but not in the content script. So we had to create a, an event listener for the pop-up, and on change, we would update the, uh, the state in the content script. Uh, an interesting challenge that we had to face was the amount of real estate that we had to deal with in our UI. We didn't have a lot of space, so we had to use what we had very efficiently. We dynamically rendered our content with React components. By giving different content to the same components, we allowed uh, ourselves more space to work with. We also dried up our code and modularized it. To show you what is new with code mode, here's Vikas. So we have some exciting developments for you in the Code Mode community today. As of this afternoon, we have activated Code Mode on five more domains. So you can now code across the web on Stack Overflow, Stack Exchange, Cloud9, GitHub, and Medium. Code Mode is for everyone on the learning journey. 
whether you're just starting to learn or whether you're just adding more skills to your tool belt and watching some videos to learn it. So that's why we encourage you to go to the Chrome Web Store and activate, activate code mode today. Thank you. You know, in, um, in general, I, I really find Chrome extension, oh, like, you know, somebody who makes a browser extension, I find it to be impressive. Um, it's, it's always really tough um, working with such limited uh, real estate. And also, like, you know, they're injecting things into other people's CSS world, which is a little bit like walking into a new planet and, you know, suddenly trying to, um, trying to do things that you thought were familiar. And so I, I can imagine what they're saying when they, you know, we're, we're talking about how crazy of a mess it became in the CSS. Um, so I think overall the, you know, the, the project is of course really cool and useful. Um, but I, you know, I also really find the whole implementation uh, impressive. Yeah, I think it's a really cool idea. The, the creation of like these little community, micro communities around each video and each content creator and having them, the editor tool. I also sympathize with them. It is like a little bit of a hacking thing to like hack your stuff into what YouTube is doing and, and make sure that it looks halfway decent. So Very yeah, cool I think people are, are often surprised after having built things from scratch, how much more difficult it can be to build on top of some existing yeah. architecture already and work within the confines of what's already there. Yeah. Uh, I remember learning to code myself and, you know, there's so much going on. It's, it really can make a huge difference just removing the a tiny little bit of friction from that process. And I think code mode did a great job with it.